bloody pharaohs here in Boussançon. Oh, it starts raining. So this here is a church, a uh, chapel by the um, for the uh, the hospitalers for their commandery. Or maybe maybe that one was the commandery, and it's from the uh, the 12th century. Very old. So. Yeah. So I told you the uh, the hospitalers. They uh, they were there before the uh, Crusades, you know, to uh, to make to make it look like something nice, and you know, to go like go on a picnic, and we'll treat you. You know, the word hospital is from there. And when the Europeans, when they were there, you know, they were all they were in the middle of a war, and then the Templars all of, all of a sudden they became Templars, and. Uh, this is what they always do. Like in the First World War, they put a flower in the, in the, in the barrel and say, well, it's only going to last for a week. So here it is, in Varesia. It's, it's, it's a strange name. Varesia. Hmm. Yeah, and then they appeared again after the Crusades. For 200 years, the hospitalers disappeared. They, they put on another uniform. And then they came back and um, to take all the belongings because uh, it couldn't belong to the Templars anymore. So that means os osuer, it means all the bones are here. <laughs> yeah. There was a cross on the... I can see it from here. This is very old stuff here. In, um, in the Jura, which is called, it's old Latin, South Celtic language, and it means the black forest. Ju, it means the forest, and Ra, it means black. Okay, it's all, so you can see it's all forest around here. Yeah. Beautiful. I would have liked to have a look inside, but it's all closed. Yeah. So it's next to Switzerland here. So here is a Templar's farm, it's called Tempelhof. It's like the, the airport in Berlin, Berlin actually, Tempelhof. And uh, here it says 1563 when they rebuilt it, but it's from 1200. So here, here it is, I'll, you know, it's next to Ribovile and Celesta. A very beautiful area here, next to the Haute Königsburg. So here it is. Well, this is also older, but this is the Temple Hof from the Templars, a Templars farm. A really beautiful area. So they had farms, commanderies, and and castles. So here it says Templar wine, but this is older. But it's still from the Middle Ages, like 1559 here, here too, 1500. Here some more Templars, Temple Hof. 1500, some Templar signs, Tempelhof, like the airport in, in Germany. I hear some more stuff, yeah. yeah. So this door here with the Templar stuff on it, it dates from like, really from the Templars in 1200. Here you can see the sun hieroglyph here, in a different way. So this is very old. And Maybe this too, here's the sun hieroglyph there. And this is older, this is rebuilt like in 1557. The Alsatian guy, he is very friendly, he's showing me around here. Very nice. Yeah, I'm going to Colon. Come on, Colon. Ah, yeah, yeah, I can enter. Ah, yeah. So here's some more stuff, but this is 1558. I think there it is. I have to shout because there's a lot of wind here. So it's desolate here. I've been walking for hours, hours. The Lachzak. Windy, cold. It's still summer, it's bloody cold there. Yeah, well, let's have a look. It's still a long way to go. Yeah, another water catch by the Templars. It's 
Templar swimming pool. There's a local graveyard with some Templars graves here. There's a lock on the door here, so I, you know, I don't feel like climbing today. Oh, wait, well, there's just some stuff anyway. I'm getting tired of these Templars. Let's get rid of them. So here, there's the next Templar or Hospitaller thing. Right behind there. So it is a thing by the uh, Hospitallers. And they were just there to make sure that we make it into the wall. You know, to lure us into it with some wine and no treats as well and, and then there's no way out. Bloody pharaohs. Sorry, that one. Me. So here on the way to Jerusalem, you know, they could rest and get some wine. They said, well, we'd be even more paradise if you go to Jerusalem. And then there was no way out. Either get killed by the Arabs or fight. Ah, another church of them. Those here. They're so intelligent, they're so smart, eh? Just like it's, it's the propaganda machine here, you know? Like gobbles. You know, they'll go and have a war, you know, you'll be happy. Yeah? That's what it is. That's the hospitalers. That's all. Bloody hospitalers, bloody pharaohs, eh? That's all a lie. This is their, as I said, their propaganda machine. You know, to get us into a war. This is the TV and the newspapers of the, of the Middle Ages. You know, that get some wine. And, nice time in Jerusalem, see something of the world, still the same thing going on today. Get dressed in a nice uniform, be a Templar, be a special forces, still the same thing, nothing has changed, eh? Just doing their bloody wars for them. So here's the Templars commandery in Elancourt, au nord, uh, on the north from where they the minister was uh, like where they found his body it's uh you see the the, the m is has a different color here oh it's pink they were homos anyway and uh it's also the m sign what well, we see the hands like making an m here too on all the old a lot of old pictures so this is the commandery there's the Templar, the old boy, on a horse. So this is south of Paris still, next to Rambouillet. And here, Commanderie de Templier, it's the Templar's commandery. And uh, here it says as well. It's called the uh, Commanderie de Templier de Ville Dieu, the Templar's Commandery of the Town of God. Wow, well, what do you know? I already see an octagonal tower, well, part of it. The roundabout, Rondpoint, it's called the roundabout, uh, Le Rondpoint de l'Ordre de Chevalier, the roundabout of the Order of the Knights. Ah, uh, well, Freemasons. It says Elancourt. It's where we are here, Elancourt. That's where I'm here. So let's let's have a look at the old chap. Wee! Look at it. That's what I told you. The Templars, they are the aristocracy. Why do you think they have the fleur de lis? The three point for Isis, Horus, and Seth. Look at this. It's a Swiss cross, like on the Swiss army knife. It's the exact Swiss cross. 
It's not like the typical Templars cross, but it's the typical Swiss cross, which is of the Templars cross. Well, what do you know? I didn't get, I didn't come here for nothing. I look here on these things here. There's a coat of arms of this town here. You see, it's got the Templars V behind the Swiss cross, behind the Swiss army knife, the three points. Fleur de Lis has a crown over it. It's the aristocracy. There were no monks. And it's Swiss. That's where they went to. Look, and he's got a gladio. It's a Roman sword. Just like the guy the, uh, in the inn in Strasbourg. He was, he was wearing a gladio, the, uh, the chief of the, uh, of the security. And this is octagonal, I think. There are four, eight rows of, uh, of, uh, of plants here. Of the hedge, eight hedges. They know exactly what they're doing, and there are eight lanes like this. That's why I'm coming from. It's, it's real near Rambouillet, where they find the body of the minister. There's so much power involved here in this place here, around it. He even got a bloody fleur de lis on his helmet, all over. Yeah, there's one there, there's one here. Fleur de lis all over. You bloody pharaohs, get out of our Europe. You know, get out of here. It's like these guys, you know, well, no, never mind. Here there's another sword. He's got a gladio. And he's got a long sword here. Yeah. The sun is in my eyes, I can't see it. Well the long sword is of course if he's on the horse. And the gladio on the other side is if he steps down from the horse. Yeah. So I mean uh, there's the coat of arms. Let's have a look. No, this is a typical sword of the knight. Now let's have a look at the coat of arms there. Yeah, Elon Cour. Cour, that means the court. Yeah. So it's black and white, you know, of the Teutonic Knights. It's a, a Swiss cross in the middle of it. And um, Fleur de Lis. A gold Templars V. It's on a green underground. Why green? I, I don't. I can't explain the green. And the black and white is their war colors. Here, once more. It's all over. There, once more. Yeah, they seem to be pretty, pretty proud of it, eh? Oh, it's a good hit. Commander of the Templars, south of France, next to where all the castles are. So that's already infiltrating the uh, the primogenitura, uh, the kings. So I was lucky. Today is the uh, Journée de Patrimoine, and it's a special day. This guy here in this, uh, it's the oldest building from uh, 1128, no? Uh, 80. 80, yeah, 1180. And he made this uh, Templar game here uh, to play uh, with cards. And at the same time, you know, give some information about the Templars. It's very interesting, very, I'm, I'm very happy to, to have come here on this very special day here. So. Well, you see here everywhere, the fleur de lis, everywhere. So you think they were really monks, or do you think they were the aristocracy, eh? Like pharaohs. So this is the Templar's Chapel here in Elancourt. It's a, it's a real Templar's Chapel. But uh, yeah, well, they renovated it. The 
there's quite a lot of people because it's a Sunday and it's an open day. Ah, there's the buffer man. Look, there he is. My guy. There you are. I see there's a little red crosses in it. On the temples. So all this here is an ancient Templars commandery again. Very old. With a chapel. Just filmed that. There's so many people. It's a Sunday, open days, open house. Yeah, that, that one is the oldest house of it, apparently. That one there. The chapel. A little pond. Well, it's going to be the last one I did. Maybe I'll do one more. I mean, there are thousands of them. Thousand commanders all over Europe. So I was lucky with this day today. But they don't know the truth. I'm not sure if you can see it, but this is, of all the windows here, is the only one that has the Baphomet. So this is the entrance, so everybody passes here. He has to like bow to the devil or pass under the devil. Of all these windows, I had a look. I'm going to show you one more time. This is the only one. Uh, maybe I'll take, uh, I'm going to stand a little bit further away. I just showed it from the inside. You can see it from here. I'll show it one more time from the inside and all the other windows again. So here, you know, you have the ultimate proof there are Satanists. This is the entrance. You see the light bearing through here, peeping through. And uh, there's the buffer mate. There he is. And these are the original windows. It looks like it's like a foley on it, but it's not. It's original windows with lead in between it. And, well, nowhere else. Uh, I looked at all the windows. I just show like underneath, you know, because there's no Baphomet here. There's none there. Neither is on top of it. There's one here. There's, uh, I mean, there was none here. And there is none there. And there is none there. And I checked it all out. I mean, all the way, it's a lot of fleur de lis, a lot of Templars crosses. You know, there's none. There's only one. If you come into the church, bow to the devil these guys were satanists they were devil worshippers they were evil they were homos they were aristocrats they were pharaohs and they founded a base of all evil Switzerland and here you can see three crosses here and three crosses on the other side that makes six I got a bit boring, you know, the, uh, the women, t the woman just before like talking because it's just a lot of rubbish. It's not the Templars, they were no monks. Three. Oui, oui, Alors, on... voilà, est-ce que la régie PACA vous permet de louer du matériel pas cher Tout à fait, voilà. Euh, le matériel, vu qu'on est association, on loue le matériel à, à la régie. Alors, donc l'idée, une mandarine. C'est qu'une mandarine, euh, une mandarine ça se loue euh, 10 euros par jour. Et vu association, c'est la moitié prix. Donc on loue 5 euros par jour. Combien de kilos On peut beaucoup l'acheter là. Un chemise de 2,5 kg, 30 euros.
Voilà, donc on a un HMI, un HMI ça vaut euh, 10, 5 000 euros, comme ça. Alors pour, pour les non-initiés par exemple, pour leur expliquer ce que c'est. So this here was the film festival in the uh, in the French in the uh, Templars Castle. Uh, here are a couple of these videos. You can uh, you can find them most of them on in YouTube with uh, English subtitles. Just punch in the titles and uh, yeah. Oh, no, it's not bad. And, uh, yeah, so here's a little river in the town next to it. The river is uh, Le Verdon. Quite nice, not too many people. It's not like the, uh, the Mediterranean, like the beach. So I'm gonna dip in here. Come and join you guys. So I am a little village called Montmeillon. Uh, what do we see here? The Templars cross in a pyramid, red and white for the original Pharaonic Kingdom. The United Kingdom of Pharaoh, red and white, like Switzerland. The castle, the crown. So this here is the Templars farm. I don't know if it's a commandery. I think it's just of Templar's farm, well just, I mean, and uh, it's next to the motorway, it's in uh, Vins sur Carami, I'll show you on the map later on, you can hear the motorway. So hit this, this is where they were, they are the ones who founded Switzerland and uh, uh, made the new world order which is a, a horizontal rule and not anymore a vertical rule. So they all rule together, you know, like in the Swiss cross. The Swiss cross is the horizontal rule of the, of the Templars uh, that cuts the vertical rule of the king. Templars. Here's where the New World Order started with the Templars. It's very old, it must be a thousand years old. I always see it when I go to Italy on the motorway. There's a sign. Ah. I suppose there's still somebody living here. Maybe not go too deep in it. I don't need to, there's not much more to see anyway. Somebody coming. So here you see this typical round thing. We always see on Templars commanderies, you know, or Templars chapels at the back. So they, they must have had a chapel. They always had a chapel because they were hiding. In the Middle Ages, there were only three things the people, the clergy, the church, and the aristocracy, the, the castle. So this is how they were hiding. They didn't want to hide among the people, you know because they didn't want to work. They were not even warriors. We did the fighting for them, the people, the Franks and the Germanics. There must be a chapel inside. People who are living here, they're probably Freemasons. Very important for them. Ah, oh, now I get it. You know, there's a... Uh, just next to it, there's a, a horses for children. Templars, pedophiles, Freemasons, children. Oh, what do you know? And it's next to the motorway. Quickly, quickly gone. Bye bye. Yeah. I'm not going to deep in it. It's nothing to see anyway. Yeah. The most important thing to see is to understand. I'll show you the horses. Now there. It's just here. Ah, oh, that's smart, eh? So this is how they get to the children, eh? But, yeah. So before I saw some kiddies. 
uh, a horse trailer here. Templars and a motorway, which you can hear. They've always been doing it, these Satanists. What's this? Templars, Satanists, child molesters, Switzerland. Hey, you see children coming. And the Templars were just there. This is the more horses. At the end of the road here. Templars. Freemasons, pedophiles, Switzerland. So here it is, Vins sur Carami, the Templars farm next to Brignol in the south of France. Here's the motorway, the blue one, Barjol, that's where next to it is Brad Pitt, like here, living there. Uh, he's living in the Templars region. So I'm going to see a, um, a nice lake next to it. Yeah. There's a nice little lake next to the uh, Templars farm. Well, let's call it the Templars Lake. Well, I suppose it didn't exist at this time yet. If you can see, it's like they've been digging here you now. So I'm back here at this 1.2 kilometer long Templars Bridge here in Le Pont Saint Esprit, where the Swiss and the CIA, where they poisoned the old people, the entire population here. And this is all related to the, ter to the terrorist attacks. So watch my video about it. And it's all related to Switzerland, of course. And the Swiss never done anything, eh? No, they're so innocent, they're so neutral, eh, Swiss, eh? in the prison me Oy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have a dip in the pool anyway. Oh, it looks gorgeous, doesn't it? So here's another Templars commandery, the house here, but they have dogs and cameras and the man here, he told me it's, um, you'll get problems. Well, I'm not afraid, you know, I've done things like this before, you know, I could infiltrate here, but there's not, nothing to see anyway. But the important thing is, this is it's near to Salandre. I'll show you on the map later. And uh, it's very near to Le Pont Saint Esprit, where I told you the story about. Alors là, il y a une commanderie de Templiers à, à côté de uh, la route de Salandre, uh, à côté de Bagnold. Uh, C'est pas loin de, du Pont Saint Esprit où je vous ai raconté l'histoire. Ils ont des chiens ici, des caméras. Et le monsieur à côté, il a dit que uh, vous serez agressé. J'ai pas peur, mais. Ça me suffit de le voir que, comme ça, de loin. Ok, ils étaient partout, donc ils étaient très à côté du euh, le pont Saint-Esprit. So here is a Templar's castle. At least, well, it was taken over by the Templars and they were here. It's uh, a chapel. I was just taken hitchhiking by a count from Uzes. He was really shocked, but he hid it. What I was saying about the aristocracy, a little pharaoh. Very nice, very helpful. Yeah. So this is next to that bridge where they poisoned the entire population. It's full of Templars here. I show it all to you later. 
I hope they're not waiting for me. There's a speck in my tent. Chapelle. So, this is what I always do. I go in from the back side and have a look at it all, you know. The chapel, La Chapelle. I'm getting seriously pissed here with this white wine here, the Templar's wine. There's the castle. Yeah. And there's the Duke. I think it was a Duke. He wanted to talk German with me. He said it was a Graf. So I suppose he was the Duke of uh, Uzes, where I filmed the, uh, the castle. Now look at the name here. Sar. You see? Sar. It's in the sarcophagus. Sire, sir, the king, a box to put the king in. The real name of this thing here, it used to be Basarka. The dead soul of the king and the living soul. All bloody pharaohs, you know. And the Duke brought me here. Was that a coincidence? I have no idea. I don't think so. They know where I am. I've got this little tablet. They know absolutely where I am. You know, he took me hitchhiking. You know. He looked like Himmler. Bloody pharaohs. Oh, look at this. The descendants of the nobility, they're playing golf here. <laughs> You see, the little checkerboard trousers. So you see, the castle is here. They don't see me. I'm in the forest drinking my wine. Right. My bottle. My Templar bottle. The bloke's playing. My 
my Templars water bottle. So here's another nice river, just it's called Ardèche. It's real next to this Templars bridge, like seven, well, maybe six kilometers away. Yeah? Well, I got it by accident, I didn't even know it. So here's another middle aged bridge, maybe it's done by the Templars as well. So here's the bridge, like here. To the right, it's going to the Rhone, to the uh, Pont Saint Esprit. Full of Templars here. I'll show you the map later on. Real nice here. Just what I needed. I'm here in a town called Pizinas. Or we're going to see Templars uh, commandery or castle, I don't even know. Uh, three times Fleur de Lis. And it says this is the place, the uh, square of the three times six, trois six. Here it says in English. So you can just punch pause. The, the square of the three sixes. And here you got the, uh, the sunny aeroglyph, the Vesica Pitches, forming the oval, like the oval office. Yeah, well, it's all here, isn't it? Hey? So here at Pezenas, this is an ancient, uh, a former commandery of the Templars here. Yeah. And here on the other side, there's a, uh, this is church here. And uh, the church is a, a, chap a Templar's chapel, it says in English. Uh, yeah, the Knights Templars were uh, Knights Templars. So you just punch pause if you want to read it. There you go. And here it says, uh, where is it? Ah, here it says Saint Père. You remember the Templars commandery with the uh, the woman with the skeletons and uh, the uh, reptilian? It was called Père Asol. Yeah, it says Saint Père. It's all the same. Well, I don't want to pronounce it now. The sun hieroglyph. Let's have a look. So here you see there's a Templar's cross here and uh, something like they could have been hiding things in here. It's going downstairs here. Right. Tu peux l'éteindre là? Right. See them, c'est mieux comme ça. So in the Templar's chapel, yeah. Uh, so here's the sun hieroglyph, which is the sun is red, of course, here at the side as well, with a, um, the, uh, the Freemason checkerboard, just next to the, um, to the Templar's cross here, and the thing where they've been hiding stuff, right. Yeah, look, Swiss Guard of the Vatican, and here as well, I suppose, they were here. In a Templar's chapel. Oh, Swiss. See? Hello, Swiss, eh? Hey? You're still smiling, eh? Well, it's going to be gone forever, eh, mate? Bang! I'll give you a nut of that. Right. Finish. Yeah. Look at this here. They painted it red, you know, like uh, 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 the cross of the Hospitallers. And here, the Prince of Conti. The SS Standartenführer, the Swiss. He was the uh, the Minister of Health in the uh, the Third Reich. That's the word Kant, the uh, Duke. And here it says Sack. Uh, here, like in the sarcophagus, it means your royal your royal highness, Son Altesse Royale. Oh, a bunch of bloody pharaohs. You know? And there is a castle here behind here. Well, well, let's have a look, you know. I can't see it, so, you know, maybe I can see it afterwards, like on the thing here. So this here is La Couvertoirade. It's an entire Templar's town here. It's amazingly well preserved. A lot of tourists. They were everywhere, you know, these Templars. Ah, oh, there's a cemetery. I'm gonna have a look there. See a lot of tourists. 
There you, there you go. Just a bunch of paws come in. Have to pay three euros. Oh. Oh. This is the biggest, like Templars, incredibly well preserved Templars town. Oh. The whole town here is a Templars town. Incredibly well conserved. It's in the middle of nowhere. It's quite big. All right, there's some more. I'm not sure if we can get in, it's a bit late. There we are. This is the real Templar stuff here. It's an entire Templar's town. Oh, you see the Templar's V on, v on his breast. Oh. This is more than a thousand years old, eh? Bloody Templars, you bloody homos. Look at his weird faces. Very long noses. You know, just like the reptilian thing I filmed in the commandery. Look like monkeys. In La Couvertoirade. Uh, Templar stuff all over. Uh, for the tour is like. Entire Templar's town, amazingly well preserved. I've, I've noticed that everywhere on the doors here, they have pinned a sunflower. You know, they are the uh, the sun worship worship is. You know, I saw that a couple of times here. It's all over. Sunflowers on the doors. Yeah, there's another one here. Look, everywhere. Now, you bloody pharaohs, eh? That's what I'm telling you. They are the second, third, fourth sons of the pharaonic aristocracy. Uh. So, open the bloody gates, I'm coming. It's really incredible. I've never seen this before. Looks like a chapel. I see. There it is. Oh, there's the, the temple. That looks like it. Well, let's go. Please, I know what they're doing with the sunflowers, absolutely. <clears throat> it's fantastic here. Yeah. I'm glad I'm quite late, so there are not so many tourists, you know. Even people living here. 
I've always been living here like, you know. Here's the garden gnome. That means my man, he's a garden gnome. He's obeying the witches and Isis. He's just obeying orders. I give him my pussy now and then and he does what I want him to do. If not, no more pussy, mate. Chapel. Now this is the coat of arms of the town. It's a town, you know, people are living here. See? La Couvertoirade. Strange name. It means couvert, it means... Uh, it's a, there's a lid on, you know, it's, um, it's closed. Or something is on top of it. Well, I guess who is on top of it, eh? The devil. It's got the lid of the devil on it. Absolutely. Couvert. Ah, couvert, toi, rade, toi. It means the roof. So it means the uh, roof with the, with the top on it, which is uh, closed. So maybe before, like before they did it, you know, with, uh, with wood. So maybe these roofs are maybe even out of stone. Now look, there's a lot of caves here. There's a path going there. I bet you, you know, there's a lot of things to see here. A lot of digging to do. Now, can't really read it. Oh. Sweat. So this is the chapel here, next to the castle, that's the castle, people living here all over, uh, the town, that's fantastic really, in the middle of nowhere, and here a lot of devils here, monkeys, why monkeys, you know there never were any monkeys in, in, in France or in Europe, we never had any monkeys, no. How did they know this a thousand years ago, eh? Some devils. Another monkey. Ah, oh, see, the monkeys. The Swiss, they are the monkeys, eh? Swiss, eh? It says. Uh, yeah. The church cemetery. Well, let's have a look. The Templar cemetery. I like cemeteries, you know that. It was my first film, the Pharaoh show. Yeah, a lot of Templars graves here, so I'm going to drink my wine here, there you go. Swiss crosses, a lot of Swiss crosses. That one is the same like on YouTube, you know, make a bigger picture like the Germans have had, sorry. All over. A oh, bunch of Swiss crosses all over. Yeah. Ice we see. That's why I'm telling you, we see. Aye. Oh, this is what I saw at Omaha Beach, these things on the wall. Remember, guys? There it is again. What does that mean? They look like coffee beans. Putting stones on it. But they're not Jews, are they? What's that? Freemason handshake. Oh, look at that. The handshake. Hi, guys. 
in another way. This is like a um, high five. That's weird. Hmm. Don't know what this says. Nice place to chill out. The Templar Cemetery. Aye. Aye. <laughs> Typical Swiss crosses. I, t I tell you, it's full of Swiss crosses here. They are the Templars. Told you. The Swiss Nazi Templars. No Swiss crosses, although this one is a Fleur de Lis. It's on your grave, mate. Right? Another Swiss stuff. It's all over. What kind of holes is that? Hey, Swiss, eh? Hey? my cider. I got it now what it means couvert toi ra va. Couvert it means covered. Toi it means the roof. And ra it's Amun Ra. The sun god. So it means the final roof which covers us is the sun god or the sun and the I don't remember I'm a bit pissed here I'm not emptying the bottle here and I, I don't have my books here I've been living on the streets for two years because of the Swiss terror so I, I can't look it up for you the but I know it's pharaonic couvert toi rade couvert toi rade and uh, so it means the solar system, as in Ari, it means, I already told you, it means born out of the sun, or like in aristocracy, aristocracy, or Arian, Ari, Ri is the sun, and A, it means pregnant, so it means pregnant sun, that's where they come from, these boys are not from here. And they're ruling our planet with wars after war after war after war. Now they're trying to tell us the Muslims are doing terrorist attacks. It's all a lie. They are doing it, the guys of the pyramid here. These guys of the Red Pyramid. See my film, you know, that the swastika from a Templar's cross from a pyramid. I put some nice music in there for you. The name of this town is Pharaonic, and these guys are from there. Couvert toi rada. Couvert toi rada. What else to say? Now, why do they put these stones here like Jews? Is that Pharaonic custom? I might say it is. Leave my bottle here. Cou, couvert, toi, rada. I knew when I would come here, I would understand things. So I'm very interested what will happen in the night. Things will happen, I know. So you see, there's nothing around here. This is where they were hiding the Templars from the French king. And in the end, they got him. The 
the top to set up. A beautiful road leading to the Templar stronghold. The Templar stronghold, an entire village with the people to work for them all around, you know, here. Pharaoh, me. So because there are no water sources here, no rivers, nothing here, the Templars, they dug this so when it rains, you know, they can collect the water. It must be really tight then, watertight. It's a very dry area. So apparently this thing here is the original Templar's chapel next to the, uh, that's the Templar's castle up there. Uh, but it's all broken down so they built a, the Hospitallers, they built a, uh, a church of the Hospitallers of Saint Christoph. Uh, yeah, well, there's not much to see. Uh. Well, let's go to the chapel of the Hospitallers. So interesting. So here's a wall. But if you go up here behind, there's another part of it. This is real old. Oh, this is real old. It's the most interesting part of it. Built into the rocks here. It'll be interesting to do some digging here, mate. Hi. <coughs> so let's go in. Two holes here, probably to put a Baphomet statue, right? Sweetie. So here they used to hand out the water from the pit, as you just saw here, you know, for the people. It's a bit high, but maybe you can see something, all right? As I imagine, like in the Middle Ages, it's still like this. I have to go here and get some water. Oh, I'm thirsty, I haven't tried it now. You know, for the workers, for their slaves, eh? So here's the church by the Hospitallers from the 14th century. Just, you see their crosses there, you know, up here. Oh, yeah. I we see, you see their crosses, eh? All right. So the hospitalers, of course, they, you know, they belong to them. Oh, where is it? There it is. The hospitalers, they belong to them. And uh, they were before, and they were after, when the Templars disappeared. Another Swiss cross. A Swiss A. There you are. There's sort of a pyramid here. Yeah. So important to them. The pyramid, you know, and where the, the all-seeing eye is, like on the dollar. Oh, what do you say? A Swiss cross. Okay, yeah. And you say the six times six. There's a six in the middle. And a six here. And a six all around it. Oh, great. Isn't it fabulous? A lot of Templar stuff in here. Templar's crosses and the marble, marble stuff here. So I'm going to tell you who the, who the hospitalers were. You know, in order to get the Europeans, the stupid Europeans, to do their war for them, to, uh, to open up the road to the pyramids to get their treasure from their ancestors, the pharaohs. Uh, there's another pyramid on top of his here. Yeah. You know, they had to lure the, the Europeans into it. 
Just like in the First World War, you know, they, they put a flower in the cannon and say, oh, you know, you're going to drink some French wine, you'll be back in a week. Oh, crap. Four years, and most of them didn't even come back. And um, so they did the same in the Middle Ages. So they said, well, you know, we're going to take care of your feet, you know. We have doctors, the hospitalists, the word hospital is from there. It's the Red Cross. The Templars is more like the red, the White Cross, you know, the Swiss Cross. And, uh, and they said, well, we're going to take care of you, give you food. Until the moment they were like in, the, uh, in Jerusalem and, uh, you know, fighting the Muslim guys. And uh, all of a sudden the hospital has disappeared and they popped off. They popped out again like 200 years later after it all. So then, you know, the Europeans, we were all trapped in it. And uh, there was no more way out, as they do in all the wars. They just lure us inside. And they were like, F-U-C-K'd. You know what I mean? I just learned that this flower all over on the walls, the sunflower, it's called a cardabelle. And it's on the, it's, um, it grows on the floor on the ground. It's so important to them here, they even, you know, they, they, the women make it like this, you know, like here. You know, the Templar's cross. And I understand that in the name of this flower there's the word car in it. Car, Cardabel. So it, it could have been Karadaba. They made Kardabel out of it. Ka is the soul when we live. Ba the soul when we die. Ra, I don't remember. And Ra, as in the town here, Couvertois Rad. It is the sun god. Nice tasting beer though. And this is a town here, it's called the Cavalry. Cavalry. Here's the whole, the whole town is a Templars again. There's a Templars thing here. This is the name of the town. Well, well, let's have a look. Yeah, it says Place des Templiers, the square of the Templars. Yeah, well. So you can see in the cavalry. A whole, a whole Templars thing here. This is the red and white like the Swiss and this is the black and white like the Teutonic Knights, also Swiss. And you got the same thing, you know, the same um, superstition with this sun. The flower that looks like the sun. Here's the other side, all Templar, an entire Templar's town again. There's so many of them here, you know. This is the biggest organization the world has ever seen. There's no doubt, you know. Uh, we all see the pyramid, right? Teutonic. Swiss. A hey, Swiss eight. So this is the area where it's in in France. It's called Larzac. Old thing here. It's quite a big thing, eh? The Templars were a big thing. They were everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's even a big Templar's cross here on the street. I swear see you like it, eh? So here in uh, La Cavalerie. And in the other one, the Couvertoire, I even met a, uh, a Turkish Freemason who went to his Templar's pals. He gave me the finger. 
And uh, so I asked him, he said, yeah, I'm 27 degrees. You know, look, you think this is freedom, you know, the wicking for this, all their lives, they well, this is freedom. Well, you have to pay to get in here, yeah, look. It's like border control. <laughs> yeah. So here's the commandery in another town here called uh, saint Eulalie. This is the name here. Yeah. Uh, well. Probably a Templar's church there. Looks very old. So they left it open. It's in the evening. Let's have a look. Two poor aristocrats, second, third, fourth sons. So, well, this is private property. I'm going to have a look in the church tomorrow. It's private, so I'm not going to. Just going to stay here probably. Well, there's nobody here. So, Templar's commandery. Not much to say. Oh, oh, that looks fantastic. Look at it. So that house, that's the old commandery of the Templars. Yeah. I know what it says on the church. I will look tomorrow. I saw these same things in Pezenas on a commandery. They probably do this. Uh, well, you know, look. Templars cross and some flowers. Well, I might put my tent here. No, but I want to sleep quiet, you know. Oh, this is looks. This is very old, eh? So, this is the new world order. That's where it started, you know. They're the guys who made the new world order. So the entire building here is the Templars' commandery until the church there. It's big, eh? You can see here how deserted it is, you know. There's nothing here. Nothing, nobody, you know, all around there, it's all mountains and forests. You can imagine a thousand years ago. <laughs> uh. so you see, this is a church with a Templar's cross on it. In the oval, eh? As in the oval office, and the commander is built next to it. Same, yeah, so. Of course, it's a genuine Templar's church. Yeah, on the church. So this is the church here. You can see how the commanders they had a game here, sort of a tennis or something. It's called Jeu de Pomme. Yeah. So they've always been commanders. Even today. So you see, uh, that's the church. So it's it's going all around. It's really a stronghold of the Templars. And this is the other side again. You see, even today there's nothing. Well, as far as you can see, they're really hiding these blokes. Right. Here you can see the other side of it. It's going all all around. Yeah, there's the other tower. Oh, it's dark. I'm going to put my tent in the... Uh, in the... Uh, in the commandery's yard. Right. Let's be quiet now. So I finally put up my tent next... right next to the commandery. Anyway, yeah, a weird night, really weird energies here, can't describe it. So this is a real Templar's church, which was built in uh, 1150. There's not much to see. So the Templars, they were hiding, like, 
in religion, because there were only three things in the Middle Ages, the church, the castle, and the people. They didn't want to hide. Those aristocrats, those pharaohs, they didn't want to hide among the people, because then they had to work. They absolutely didn't want to work. Oh, no. No, no. Yeah. So it's part of the, um, of the stronghold. It's like the wall of the stronghold, the whole church. And I slept there on that side in the, um, in the yard. I was lucky because I just saw now they closed the door. <laughs> so this is what a house of the 15th century in France, southern France, might look like. of the Templars, you know, just in, just before the revolution. So the revolution was in 1789. And they still exist. There's a lot of Freemasons, you know, visiting these sort of places. fortified town. That's us, Templar's commandery. So the whole thing was a commandery, a stronghold. Uh -uh. Templar's commandery of Saint Eulalie. Perfectly well hidden, even today. So these guys had the New World's Order in their heads at least thousand years before we discovered it on YouTube. Imagine, look how they're hiding. And they still are. Most people still don't know what's going on. The New World Order, the horizontal rule by the second, third and fourth sons of the Pharaonic aristocracy. And their political wing, the Masons. Yeah, look, a bunch of vultures. Maybe there's a dead Templar lying on the road. I swear say! A whole bunch of them. It happened a couple of uh, years back. Some Frenchy, they, uh, he fell down the... Uh, oh, they're gone. Some friends he fell down uh, the cliff, and before the uh, uh, before the doctors were there, you know, and the, you know, 